Hello guys, I want us to have a demonstration of a computerized uh, voting system. So we launch our system. So this is how our system uh, looks like. It will open. Then it will take you to the dashboard where before you vote, you have to uh, log in. And up here, we have administrator. We have election uh, officer and a user so i will log in as an admin straight on to see how that one goes therefore username match uh, the user type then we just go to uh, password then guys uh, being an administrator i can be in a position to uh, access the uh, that is uh, this part here I have been in a position to vo uh, access voter login form and in this case uh, enter student ID number or your voters ID uh, so you can capture uh, something here uh, uh, then I can use the same as my password so I can just um, have that one so before you go to this you are supposed to register the voters so we have that panel you also have the next panel here uh, whereby uh, you can be in a position to see uh, various uh, results here you can also go ahead and see the report uh, of the uh, the system then on the other hand we have uh, this part here voter registration this is where you click and register uh, a, a new you can register a new guy here that is a voter like now i can register uh, a, a guy here then we have the next uh, name here then the gender male then i can also have my password then address can have my address there then i can choose the course or the department i am in I'm in, in education, major English. Then from there, I may add my image if necessary, then save. So that one is now saved as a voter regist uh, registered there. Then after that one, uh, we have this other place here. You can register the candidates. That is the candidates uh, that uh, you want uh, to be in the election. Like now we have the president we can have the senator you can have the president so far we have various guys who has been captured as candidates then we also have the party registration in case you have a political party that you need captured for that guy you can just have it uh, like this therefore these ones we have several uh, registered uh, parties then here we have the list. This is the preview the list. You can see the voter list. You can also see the candidate list. Like for example, I can just preview here. You'll be in a position to see I uh, have been captured up there as a bachelor or forever. Then you can also see the list in case you need it uh, in a form. Then on the other hand, this is where you can change, delete or add uh, users. So guys, uh, we can uh, try to do a voting therefore here we just go to the ballot box then type the admin password yeah then uh, let me just again uh, try again uh, there we are then I key in my I key in my student ID and also I key in my password I key in my password yeah. Then I click on login. Uh, let me just have my password correct. Login. Uh, then once you 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 click on login here, you'll be in a position to see that uh, I want to choose my president there. I also want to choose my vice president. I also want to choose various senators. Uh, they are guys. Like that then from there uh, I go again choose this other guy there then click vote 
So you can see the system is now running a progress bar, that is the voting. Then congrats, your vote counts. Therefore, I have already voted. So in case I try to vote again by putting my stuff there, guys, you see now duplicate ID detected. You have already uh, voted. So that means I cannot be in a position to uh, vote twice. Then on the other hand, guys, uh, if if I if I need to uh, if I need to log in like somebody different, so in this point, if I log out, are you sure you want to log out? I need to log in as election officer here. Therefore, uh, I get in the system as election that is as an election officer. So I click on login uh, there. So you see that I am not allowed to log in since mine here is the administrator you see when you log in as the administrator i will be in a position to uh, log in to various parts but a user will not see everything so in case uh, we try to have a user here can have a user um, okay since we can't access that one let me just uh, uh log in again so i log in again if i log in i need to log in so i need to log in guys so i open access there then i need to get to this point here yeah, user accounts so i change the user accounts access then i open my stuff again so my splash form roots then this is my dashboard so we just try to log in Okay, you'll notice that uh, once you change this one, something different is happening. You see, the user is only allowed to access this stuff. An election officer is allowed to access various parts. And then the administrator uh, is allowed to uh, access various parts. So, the, guys, uh, this is how you can uh, come up with... Uh, an election uh, management system using Microsoft Access. Uh, to access uh, various projects, uh, just visit the website below uh, the this video. The URL or the address of my website is just below this video. Also, guys, remember to subscribe, remember to comment, and also remember to like my videos. Thank you very much.